Poisson regression NSPSS. This type of regression is used when there is a dependent variable or response or an outcome that is measuring counts or number of visits to a GP or a number of a visit to a dentist or number or counts of patient uh, admitted to the uh, accident and emergency in a hospital. So the uh, type of regression is used when there is an outcome that is measured in a count uh, and count is always positive and it, all, it is always whole number uh, and integer and it cannot be a negative number or a fraction or decimal but it can be zero and the independent variables can be categorical such as factors can be ordinal or it can be a continuous variable here in this SPSS data view I have a data for a hundred participant uh, and we have here four variables, four different variables. The first one is categorical data or nominal data, gender. Uh, it can be either male or female, zero for male and one for female. Uh, motivation is an ordinal variable as it is measured from a scale of 1 to 10, 1 is uh, less motivated and 10 uh, mostly highly motivated. Weight is another continuous variable that is measured in kilogram and the count is uh, data that has an integer in it and this count is measuring the number of uh, visit the participant had attended into a program teaching and training how to control weight. So here we have one dependent or response or outcome that is measured by counting and three independent variables. One is uh, nominal, the other one is ordinary, and the third one is continuous. To determine whether this variable, independent variable, can predict the number of visit a participant can um, attend the program or the training session, then Poisson regression will be used as here the dependent variable is a count, measuring the number of an event that took place or happened. Before per performing Poisson regression, we need to check whether the mean and the variance are equal for the dependent variable, which is the count variable. And the way to do that is to click on Analyze, Descriptive, Statistic, then Descriptive, move the count to the variable, in the options, tick on the mean and tick in the standard deviation and then tick on the variance. So we need to uh, may, uh, tick on the mean and variance, determine the value for these and to find out whether they are uh, similar or not. A uh, table is generated here uh, for the count and it shows that the minimum is 9 and the maximum is 32 and the mean is 19.87 and the variance is 19.2 and uh, the second step that to be done before performing Poisson regression is to determine whether the count here uh, follow Poisson distribution and the way to do that is to click on analyze scroll down to non-parametric test legacy dialogues and then one sample uh, Kolomogorov-Siminorov test. 
select the count, move it to the test variable list, and then untick for test distribution, untick normal, and then take the Poisson distribution. And the mean we've already can determined the mean here to P 19.8. Um, type here 19.8 click on ok a second table is generated for the KS test and it shows here that there are a hundred cases and uh, the uh, important value here is the significance value or the P value as shown here it is equal to 1 so this indicate that the count variable or the dependent variable follows Poisson distribution. So Poisson regression can be performed. To perform Poisson regression, click on analyze, then generalize linear models. Click on the generalized linear models and a new window is generated. And in this window, click on counts, Poisson, log linear. In response uh, window, select the count and move it to the dependent variables as this is the dependent variable or the outcome or the response. For predictors, we have here three different types of variable genders move it to the factors motivation and weight move it to the covariate as the weight is continuous and the motivation i will insert that as a covariate for the model select the three factors and covariates into the model for estimation no changes for statistics tick on include exponential parameters estimates and nothing else to consider here and click on ok several different tables will be generated the first one is the model information which shows that the dependent variable is the count and the distribution is person and the link function is the log the second one which is case processing showing that 100 cases is included and no missing value the third table shows the categorical variable information for male we have 52 participant and for female 48 participant for the continuous variable for the motivation the minimum and the maximum value is inserted and the mean and the standard deviation and for the weight also the mean and the standard deviation is generated the next table is also an important table which is the goodness of fit test the value divided by the degree of freedom should be uh, around one uh, if it is below than one it is under dispersion and if it is above one it is over dispersion so we look at the value in the range of uh, one here we have a value of 0.77 so this is a low value however we'll continue with the, the interpretation of the data but it is always uh, uh, recommended that to be around 0.9 and 1 uh, that will be an idealistic value the next table is the omnibus test that will compare how the model fitted model compared to the uh, intercept only model and for this test the value should be less than 0.0 5 and here we see that there is a significant value adding the independent variable improve the prediction for the outcome so that's what this test shows and we look for a significant value for the next table a test of model effects 
each one of these independent variable such as the factor factor of uh, uh, gender and the motivation variable and the weight variable shown here that the gender is significant the motivation is significant but weight is not significant as the value is greater than 0.05 the next table is the important table which is the parameter estimate this parameter estimate here on the left hand side shows the parameters ignore the intercept and we will focus on the gender which is now have two um, values zero for male and one for females and then uh, motivation and weight and the two values to consider here in this table the significant value which is the p-value and the exponential beta value to analyze the data if we look at the gender here we can see that uh, um, females which have a value of one is set as a reference as shown here set to zero because the parameter is redundant so this zero um, indicate that females are the reference and so the uh, males are compared to females and here it shows that there is a significant value p-value for the exponential beta the reference value is one anything above one uh, meaning uh, higher or increase anything below one meaning decrease or lower so here we can see that the exponential value is less than one uh, so we need to subtract uh, this value from one and that will generate a 0.09 uh, value and multiply that by 100 to make it as a percentage so nine percent uh, decrease so again we can see here there is a minus sign so there is a, a nine percent decrease in the attendance to the uh, training session as the value here in minus uh, in males compared to females so this uh, value shows that there is a significant value and there is less males attending the training sessions than females and there is nine percent less males attend the session for the motivation it is significant here as we can see the value and the exponential beta is 1.055 so it's greater than one so subtract that from one and multiply that by a percentage we end up having 5.5 percent so that's mean for every unit of increase in the motivation there is 5.5 percent increase in the number of uh, attendance or counts to the training session for the weights there is no significant value here so we cannot interpret this result overall the result shows that uh, nine percent less males attend the training sessions and attendance to the training session enhanced 5.5 percent by uh, increased motivation so motivation can higher motivation can enhance the attendance to the training session by 5.5 percent this is the way to perform person regression in spss